I'm Nancy McLean. Democracy in Chains tells the story of how a 60-year-old fringe cause has become the most powerful and feared force in American politics. The leaders of this cause now refer to themselves as conservatives, but their founders were more truthful. They are radicals of the right who seek to transform the relationship between you and your government by undermining the central element of democratic governance, majority rule. This cause now operates within the Republican Party, but they're not Republicans, at least not the kind that my father voted for all his life, and perhaps you have too. They've simply taken over the machinery of the Republican Party to achieve their goals. The book tells the story of the missing figure, the man whose ideas enabled this cause to go from a fringe proposition to this powerful force that now threatens to shut down our government unless it gets its way. By his own admission, Charles Koch gained little from all that he invested in this cause from the 1960s onward until he began to adapt the ideas of James McGill Buchanan. It was Buchanan who taught Koch that for capitalism to thrive, democracy must be enchained. Who was Buchanan? What did he understand about the rise of the liberal state that is now informing a strategy to undermine labor unions, to pass state laws restricting the right to vote, to uh, gerrymander on a scale never seen before, all of those things. And why is this cause so determined to eliminate Social Security, government funding for health care, public education, and even to amend the Constitution? In writing this book, I had one goal in mind, to shine a bright light on the ideas, the strategy, and the end goals of this movement by getting inside the mind of the man who developed their playbook. It's a chilling story, but one anyone concerned about the future of democracy needs to know.